Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. Um, I've been away for about six months, but I've been drawn to come back now. I've been off doing um, other things. And I just really realized that the channel wasn't quite ready for me, but it is now. So um, welcome. What I'm hoping this channel is going to do is really help you through the journey of ascension. Things are changing. There might be questions that you have. You might quite not understand the energies that are around while you're feeling certain ways and I've kind of been off over the last six months kind of going through my own ascension program and journey so that um, I can kind of maybe bring something to the table that can really help you through this time especially going into 2019 so I wanted to kind of say hi at the end of 2018 and wish you a Merry Christmas and a very prosperous um, happier um, abundant 2019 so i am going to pull some cards okay let's have a look how the energy is looking um for for us all um at the moment out there as a collective and just see what kind of guidance comes through so um we should just wean our way into the channel um and i'll probably delete the past videos as i've kind of realized i needed to be off in another direction for a while um so um i'm back now Clean slate, fresh new year, and uh, new beginnings. Okay, happy days um, await us. So, um, okay, let's pull some cards. I'm using the traditional Rider Waite tarot um, cards here. Okay, well, we have the King of Pentacles. That's about our stability, about us being a provider. Um, we have the Three of Swords, which is about heartache and loss. But it's kind of in the past. It's about moving on. It's about taking the lessons. Um, and then we have intuition here with the High Priestess. This is about trusting your intuition. Okay, so going within, following your own guidance. This one here wants to be. And then we have a Knight of Wands. And that's about going after your dreams, passion. This is um, going after, off on new ventures. So I'm feeling from this reading, uh, I am feeling quite a masculine energy from it. So this is about um, what it is that we're truly desiring. Okay, what is it that really sets our soul alight with passion? Okay, and trusting our intuition and feeling not satisfied, um, maybe with current jobs, um, the career choices, and just wanting something a bit more passionate um, in your life. And it looks like here you could be having a pull um, from divine. Okay, so just your intuition, you're just feeling not satisfied. Bottom of the deck is the eight of swords now this can be about things happening quite quickly so sudden changes communication maybe but the ones have been in the air for quite a while they're due to land so i'm wondering whether this is going to be like a career transition maybe 2019 is the year for you to go after your passion let's have a look what the archangel guidance wants to say It says relationship harmony. Okay, so there is this heartache, this loss. It says we angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. Now, the King of Pentacles is kind of our husband card, okay? He's, um, you know, he stays at home. He likes to provide. Um, so maybe this could be conflict that arose about you not feeling secure and kind of wanting to change direction and maybe that's caused um, a bit of conflict um, in your environment so but this arguments and conflicts are being resolved now and I feel that's as you follow your intuition and do what's right for you what kind of sets your soul um, alight on fire and we have passion of course Trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. 
So I feel this about maybe changing ways. Possibly not focusing too much on um, the money that comes in, but more about the joy that your role brings you. This can most definitely go for relationship as well. Um, with the passion and relationship harmony. So it could be that you could just be following your passion when it comes to a relationship. Comfort. I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. So we've picked up that there is this heartache and loss here, okay, moving on from it. So we now have comfort. I will read from this one, okay, let me just find the book. Even the strongest person experiences upsetting experiences upsetting situation um, situations. Let me just start that comp again. Let me see if I can find my actual uh, voice or words or. Okay, even the strongest people, <laughs> even the strongest person experiences upsetting situations, and there's no shame in taking time to heal your heart. This is a good time for quiet reflection upon your true feelings. Write them down in a private journal and then call upon me to bring comfort to your heart and mind. I can help you sleep better at night and put your mind at ease. So that's um, Archangel Azrael. I'm with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. Um, Azrael's aura is a beautiful shade of vanilla cream, a very pale yellow tone. He surrounds grieving and dying persons with his loving light to bring them comfort. When Azrael is around, you may see eggshelled coloured twinkling lights in the room. The crystal creamy yellow calcite is collaborated to Azrael's energy, so holding or wearing this crystal may lend additional comfort. So if you're into crystals, then um, calcite is one that you want to be, um, you know, getting your hands onto. <laughs> there is this comfort here. Um... Even the strongest person experiences upsetting situation and there's no shame in taking time to heal your heart. So it's a very masculine energy that's coming through here. There is relationship harmony, so something I feel has kind of gone on here. And whether that is regarding a change in direction. But um, I feel that one is most definitely following their passion. Okay, I'm going to... Let's have a look what the Psychic Tarot want to say. The bottom of the deck is conflict and defeat. Um, it's about surrendering to your passion, really. Surrendering to what your heart's desiring. Recognition and reward. Okay, so this is um, the Three of Pentacles. Now, this will mean about feeling valued in what you are doing. So, feeling that you're bringing your worth, um, feeling worthy. What you bring to the table is recognised. Um, you can feel with this card that you feel a bit of an apprentice. So, you're not quite sure if you're qualified enough, but um, you are very much valued. So, if, you, if you're heading towards your passion and to what your heart's pulling you towards, um, understand that that is your calling, so um, you will bring more than what you anticipate. That's about having faith, really. Okay, a new direction, new partnerships with like-minded people. We have light. Now, this is the most positive card in the deck. This is the sun card, okay? You see the light. You can see a new direction now. So this step that you're going to be taking or that you're drawn towards, once you kind of get over this heartache, is a very positive move for you to take. Um, you must have faith in that. And then we have awareness. Now this is a magician, okay? 
This means that you're aware, so you may be receiving guidance through dreams or kind of what we call downloads. Um, just, it's a knowing. It's just a knowing. So this is a magician's energy, which means as above, so below, as within, so without. So this is about, I suppose, playing with the universe, the law of attraction. You get what you think about and it's time to go after your passion and basically watch it manifest in your life. It's a knowing. You're being pulled towards this awareness now, this knowing. Let's get one more from this deck. Heartache and loss. It's about moving on from it. Now, I'm being drawn to read this card from the Psychic Tarot. So let me just find this book. The meaning of this card revolves around disappointment, sorrow and separation, which can cause upheaval and distress. It takes all the strength you have at this moment in order to move past the pain and heal your heart. The love that has been given to another should now be focused on you. Although you might look at this card as being negative, it can act as a tremendous catalyst encouraging you to move on. The painful experiences of life are just as valuable as the joyous ones. You may not appreciate that sentiment at this challenging time, but life does have a way of pushing you forward, even though you may not always know the final destination. As you endure this period, learn not to dwell on the past, but use your strong mental control to deal with your emotions. Have faith in knowing that you will get through this. I spoke about having faith, seeing the lights and this knowing that you will get through this, move past this heartache and loss. Okay, so I'm going to pull a card from the um, Oracle of Shadow and Light and um, it might pick up a bit more about what you're moving on from this heartache. It's a shallow grave, you miss someone. <coughs> With the relationship harmony here and this uh, awareness, I'm going to say that this is um, being intuitively drawn towards maybe a passionate um, new relationship. And it may be that you had to leave things behind to be able to pursue this. Um, shallow grave, you miss someone. Card number 29. Not very organised. <laughs> there we are. About Shallow Grave. This beautiful young woman is missing someone deeply and she knows perhaps for the first time what it is to lose someone. Missing someone can be very hard. It feels like a physical ache and our hearts can indeed be broken because we humans have the capacity to connect like no others in the universe. We love and we love so deeply that that love can continue even when the form we loved is no longer with us. If you have received this card in a reading, it is time to acknowledge just how deeply you have yearned for someone's return and how much that person's loss has affected you. This, that being, sorry, that being could be a friend, a pet you loved, or, sorry, a grandparent, a parent who has left. And missing this is so strong, it sometimes is a physical hurt. There is a deep sadness here and it cannot be eased by denying its presence. And once this is done and you can put what's missing to rest and visit from time to time, but know that you have been truthful with yourself and that your sadness will change and be a part of your life's beauty, not its pain. She speaks. It is time to let something go, but before you do, 
Let's take a moment to acknowledge what this was to you. Know that this meant so much <clears throat> and that by returning to the past rather than yearning for it in the present, you are creating a future that has a greater freedom to it. There are opportunities for fresh starts all the time. Every day, in a sense, gives you a clean slate. For you, this sense of starting over is immensely important after you have grieved. You need to feel that something has been laid to rest and will no longer trespass on the present. Life is kind of like that. So much of what happens isn't about what's actually happening. But thankfully, you will blossom and grow with fresh relationships and love after mourning this lost one. Divination message. Sentimentally holding on to the past, idealising the past, refusing, not allowing yourself to get over or break up with a friend, a move to a new town, a faded romance, parents who have divorced, or something you are convinced that you must have back in order to be happy again. Mourning for what was and what you feel should have been. Very deep sadness and yet this experience has been of great value. It is time to move on and to place all, all that to rest. Working with the elements of earth is most beneficial when this card and fairy comes to visit you. You may wish to plant a memory tree, something earthy and growing that changes to commemorate your lost love. As it grows and changes you will heal and memories will be sweet and sad without bitterness and pain. The earth takes form and changes them and gives back to us what we let go of in new forms. It is time for you to stop hanging on so sadly to that which has long passed. Mourn and then come back to us ready to live again. There is such an energy out, out there at the moment regarding letting go of things and moving into 2019 on this clean slate. Now this could be about a loss that you've had um, like throughout um, 2018 and just having Christmas it's, it's a very tough time um, when we've lost somebody and we've experienced that first or even second Christmas without them um, and not just that it just continues doesn't it there's the loss and I think it is just about moving on from that it says that it's going to be coming back to you so as you let go you know you're actually going to receive him more back and in the cards here there is this going after there's relationship harmony which is speaking very loud and clear comfort of the heart to get over this this awareness that it's time to move on um to passionate new beginnings okay i'm actually going to pull normally when they make mention of um you know people passing over i like to pull a postcard from spirit um as they kind of their messages from heaven so perfect that i've got them out and we can use one it says dearest june even though life seems to even though life seems now to be moving full steam ahead it is a time to rest allow ideas to flow through you and take root in your heart before they reach your mind Honour this process by becoming empty, to allow for inspiration and the magic of dreaming. You might feel lazy or unproductive, but we know better. Just as sleep is a way to recharge before renewal, so are you in a time for dreaming. In this powerful process of co-creation, your soul merges with spirit in a profound way, so you can receive your music directly from source and play your part in the symphony of life. You are being invited to bear witness to the great creation and tune into what others can't hear. We have so many dreams to share with you in the sacred and the invisible. So don't worry, we will wake you when it's time to return with a new dream. No need to set an alarm clock. Loving you always. Okay, so this card here is really about, you may start to feel that you are not being very productive and that you feel like staying home a lot, your energy levels may be dropping and you may feel like you want to sleep. You may be focusing more about self-love and looking after yourself and nurturing yourself. And these are really all important aspects that you need to do because it's in those moments of self-love and solitude and by taking a relaxing bath, maybe rather than a shower. But when you're taking showers, you get a lot of, a lot goes on in the shower, in the mind, okay? So a lot of messages, 
And it's in those moments that you're going to receive the most. So it's saying relax. You know, take a step back from the hustle and bustle of life, okay? Allow yourself to grieve. Allow yourself to feel what you're going to feel. And allow the messages to come in. And that's the reason behind it, really, while you're being pulled, okay, to calm down. And um, more happens, okay, in those quiet moments. So now is a time for rest. And if you're questioning why you feel this, do not have any guilt down to taking this time for you to rest. It's going to be so beneficial that you may not realise now, but you will realise how slowing down is so going to help you out. So um, let's pull some messages from your angels. You will find more clarity in the quietness. Okay, and um, being around water will very much help you. So if you live by the sea, get out. Um, if you can get to the sea, fantastic. Otherwise, you know, um, you can take a bath. Just connect in. Allow the connection. And it comes up here. Allow your intuition to help you through this. Okay. Um, Teresa, perfect. Time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. I'm going to read from the book from this one. I feel it's a really important message here, okay, so for this healing. Especially, like, now going up into, like, obviously the new year, so these last few days. So let me find the book. Oh, it's right there. Perfect. Teresa. Dear one, you have been working very hard. You're very tired now, yet you keep pushing yourself to work more, more and more. I am here to firmly and lovingly take your hand and tell you to stop. Cease working for a moment and take a respite. You have certainly earned it and you will be more efficient and productive after taking this rest. You give so much to others that at times like this you become unbalanced. Your inner, inner child yearns for nurturing and no one is going to give you that loving care but yourself and the angels. So give yourself permission to take a much needed time out. Take a nap or go play for a while. Please don't delay this guidance. We assure you that your responsibilities will all be met and you will gather new energy and ideas during your time out. We will also bring you additional earthly help and assist you in delegating work. Take some time out. As long as you need. Vanessa. To make your decision, okay, ask yourself which way brings me closer to my divine purpose and which way takes me away from it. So there's a need for this time out, okay? There's a decision that obviously needs to be made. There's... Um, you know, kind of going after following your passion. It said in your love life and career. Um, we're getting over this heartache here. Let's read what Vanessa wants to say. Should I go this way or that way, you wonder? One day you're sure of your decision. The next day you question it again. This indecision will be healed by focusing on your divine life purpose. Even if you aren't sure of your purpose's exact, exact nature, you do know that it involves bringing peace to yourself and others. Based on this foundation, then, which decision brings you the most peace? If you're still unsure, then ask God and the angels to help you further. You can ask us which decision will help the most people. This is a wonderful basis upon which to make your choice. Sometimes, the easiest route is the one that takes you further away from your divine purpose. So your indecision may come from a fear of making waves or uncertainty about your future. In such cases, gradual change is warranted. Slowly introduce your new direction into your daily life and ease out of your old direction slowly. In that way, you won't frighten yourself. You will be more open to hearing God's guidance and you will feel our love. Okay. 
Let's get one more from this pack. These are messages from your angels. I've got two. <laughs> it's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I am watching over you, guiding you and protecting you during these changes. We won't read this one. I think you get the message. And then we have Archangel Raphael. I am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. It's really following that light. Okay, so this is about, um, I mean, to have an Archangel appear, an Archangel Raphael, he's the angel of healing. So he is here to help you heal any physical challenges you may have in yourself and within others. We've got relationship harmony here. And it does say, Vanessa, to make your decision, ask yourself which way brings me closer to my divine purpose, which way takes me away from it, which was, you know, about bringing this harmony um, in our relationships. So, yeah, you are a healer like me. And that really is just going after your passions, I believe. It's just this new direction. Passion rather than money. Okay, I want to end. I'm going to end on an enchanted map. If I can find them. Let me just find the book. Okay, let's end on an enchanted map. And, um... We'll finish on that message. It says strength, card number 44. Your true strength comes not from self-reliance alone, but from a sincere faith in a higher power. The strength to accomplish even the most daunting tasks is yours at this time. You can connect with and channel the power of the universe. The strength card indicates that your ideas are being tested and refined and your relationships are being deepened. No matter what happens, nothing can move you off the course of evolution as, so, as the potency of your connections becomes more obvious, you're unable to harness the creative energies that are available to you. Did I say you're unable? It says you're able to harness the creative energies that are available to you. Have courage and dive in, for magic is the process of finding a form to take. When you remember that real strength comes from a combination of your efforts and reliance on a higher power, working through you, all is possible, you can do anything now, there was that magician's energy that come up, I think this is really, just, it's about having the strength to go follow your passion, you can't stop evolution from happening, um, okay, so I'm going to leave it there with you guys, okay, I will be back on soon, um, with more updates and guidance for you, so, um, until then, take care. Bye for now.